Hiya, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing this delicious Indonesian side dish of Gado Gado. You can use any seasonable vegetables that take your fancy. Here I'm starting off by slicing three carrots and I'll be placing all these vegetables in a steamer. Now I'm chopping and tailing a handful of string beans. This recipe is for four persons. It's traditional in an Indonesian gado gado to have cabbage. Here I'm chopping some red, I don't know why I call it red, it's actually purple. No, purple cabbage. I'm just using literally a quarter of a small cabbage. I'm also adding in a quarter of a small white cabbage. Mm -hmm. nice. Some of the family don't like steamed or boiled potatoes, but I'm keeping it in. Here I'm slicing one potato for me. In my gado gado, I'm also going to be adding in some bean shoots and some, wait for it, oh there it is, <laughs> baby spinach and some oil. You need about two tablespoons of garlic oil, that's what I'm using, and some salt and some black pepper. That's literally it. So let's start cooking. When I boil or steam my vegetables, I always start off by pouring in hot water from the kettle because it's so much quicker than putting cold water on a fire and just waiting for it to boil. Yep, it's now boiled, so what I'm now going to do is add some salt. This will not only increase the temperature of the water, but also it will flavour the potatoes, which I'm now adding in to the water. Right, I'm now going to leave these on for about five to six minutes just so that they nearly are cooked right through. I can see the vegetables are near enough cooked, which is how it should be. So I'm going to shortly add the vegetables. Oh, there we go. Yep, and these I'm going to steam no more than a couple of minutes. So here comes some salt and I'm going to cover and as I said just leave for a couple of minutes. You really want your vegetables to be crunchy. Yum! This looks good already but it needs a couple of more ingredients so I'm going to be adding in now the bean sprouts and the baby spinach and both of these are going to take no more than one minute to steam through. Right, a little bit of salt on top of that. And I'm going to put the lid back on. And as I said, literally steam for one minute. I've removed the steamer from the fire, so now I'm just going to be, I've just added in, sorry, just added in my potatoes and I'm going to add the rest of the steamed vegetables in this bowl. Traditionally, the vegetables used in a gado gado are actually boiled, but I find that boiling, you lose all that flavour, so hence the reason why I've steamed as many as I could. And while the vegetables are still hot, I'm going to be putting in three tablespoons of garlic olive oil. Now, if you don't have garlic olive oil, yeah, all you need to do is drizzle it with some regular olive oil and just grate a raw garlic in it. Mm -hmm. nice. I'm now stirring very gently the vegetables so that the, all the olive oil coats the vegetables. Yum. And now I'm just giving it a little bit of black pepper mm -hmm. and I'll be giving that also a gentle stir 
As you can see, this dish is so simple to make and it is a wonderful side dish to any meal, literally any meal. This, oh, and you can eat this hot or cold. And here we have it, gato gato, so simple. I'm doing it the Indonesian way and serving it with peanut sauce. Oh, so lovely. I can't wait to taste this. Mm -hmm. A few more chili bits on the top and yeah, that is good to go. Yep. You've so got to try this dish. Oh, gorgeous. Yum. If you like my version of Vegetable Gado Gado, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until the next time, see ya.